All right, so today we're going to be talking about combining like terms in equations. So if you recall, combining like terms are basically taking the different terms and putting them together, okay? So in this particular equation, the like terms would be 2c and c, and the other like terms would be positive 12 and 78. All right, so you want to, your goal is to get the c's on one side, and the numbers on the other side, okay? Well, first we have to combine them. So our first step would be to add 2c plus c, which would be 3c, okay? And we would have plus 12 equals 78. From here, because we've combined these two like terms, we can concentrate on basically just solving the equation like we would normally do. So we would subtract 12 from either side because that would be the inverse. All right, and then we would be left with 3c equals 66. Okay, from here we can divide, just like we normally would, by 3, and divide by 3, and our answer would be c equals 20. All right, so we're going to do a few more examples. All right, so here's another one. We want to uh, combine the like terms again. All right, so in this one, we have 4b plus 16 plus 2b. So our first step is to combine our like terms, which in this case was 4b and 2b. So that's where we got 6b plus 16 equals 46. All right. If you're thinking our next step would be to subtract 16 from both sides, you are correct. And 46 minus 16 is 30. You would divide by 6. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. All right. So that's how we would get that answer right here. Okay? All right. Now, in this one, Okay, we have 7 equals 4m minus 2m plus 1. So in this case, we are going to try and get all our m's over here and our numbers over here. So we're going to add those m's together, or in this case, subtract them. So it would be 7 equals 2m plus 1. Okay, subtract 1 from both sides, 6m equals 2. And if you think that the answer is 3, you are correct. All right, now, we can also use this um, same idea of combining um, like terms with the distributive property. So we have negative 2 times b minus 4 equals 12. In this case, you can kind of ignore the equals 12 right now and just co uh, concentrate on the distributive property part of the problem. So you would use the distributive property to multiply negative 2 by b and negative 2 by negative 4. So your answer would be would be negative 2b. Okay? Plus 8. Now the reason it would be positive 8 is because I am multiplying a negative and a negative. All right, and then I would get equals 12 and subtract 8 from both sides. And I would have negative 2b equals 4. So b would equal negative 2. All right. There's another um, pretty easy example. I'm not going to um, do it. I'm going to do it really, really fast for you. I'm just going to erase the steps, and you just follow along. So again, we're going to use the distributive property. We would get 3k plus 24. Then 3k equals negative 3, because we subtracted 24 from both sides, and 21 minus 24 is negative 3. And k would equal negative 1. All right, now in this one, we have... 
something different. We have C's on both sides of our equation, okay? So we're going to not only be concentrating on the distributive property, but we're also going to be concentrating on um, combining the like terms with things on both sides. So our first order of business would be to take care of this distributive property. So we would have 2C minus 12, because 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, and this side would stay the same for now. All right, now we're going to want to get the C's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So first off, we would combine the C's. So in this case, they subtracted 2C from both sides, and they got 7C. Okay? Now, since our 7C on this is on this side of the equation, we have no other option but to bring this 2 over to this side. And the reason being is if we were to try and take 12 and put it over to this side, our equation would not be equal to anything, and that would not help us solve it. That would be anti-productive, um, anti okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2 over here, and negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. All right, and then we would get negative 14 equals 7C. Divide 7 by both sides, and we would get negative 2. So that concludes today's lesson. Um, fairly self-explanatory, things that you have seen before, but um, just need a little refresher on, okay? Make sure that you understand each and every one of these steps, um, because tomorrow we will be working on them a lot.